you know, there, there was a big gala here for the World Science Festival in honor of Stephen Hawking, and, and Stephen was kind enough to write the foreword for that particular book of mine, and he said very famously that time travel is impossible. If time travel were possible, we'd already be inundated by tourists from the future. I countered him by saying they all went to the 1960s and no one noticed, but, but, but ultimately he, uh, he changed his mind because in fact the, the, the point is we just don't, we don't know if time travel is possible because just because we don't like it doesn't mean the universe can't do it. That's one of the thing, lessons of 20th century physics. Time travel may be possible, we may have to th rethink our, our, our ideas of cause and effect. And what, what Spock was saying there is an example of one of the biggest paradoxes called the grandmother paradox, which is, so if, if, if you went back in time and killed your grandmother before your mother was born, let's think about that. Well, you killed That would your, be mean. Yeah, it would be mean, but your mother wouldn't be born. And then it's even meaner because you wouldn't be born but if you weren't born, how did you go back in time and kill your grandmother? Right. That's the kind of thing that gives you a headache. It gives physicists headaches. And, uh, do you guys like sit around and talk about that stuff, yeah, really? Yeah, yeah, I know, but we don't tell people we do. <laughs>